All right, my artist friends, um, as you can see, I finished the drawing part of this project. Um, I created trees in the foreground that are nearby. They are largest, uh, medium sized trees in the middle ground um, in that area. And then the farthest away, um, the background, I created the smallest trees. I'm using those to show the depth. And then for a little bit of interest, I added some lines in some of the sections of the hills so that every area isn't just plain or a solid painting. Of course, because I'm using Sharpie and watercolor paint, at the end, if I decide some of my areas need more lines or I should divide things up more, I can always go back and add that. So again, we're trying to create space on our picture plane we're trying to create that horizon line where the sky meets the earth, and we're trying to create space that is here, near, and far on our paper plane. Now I'm gonna switch over to adding paint. Um, I have water in a dish, I have your basic paintbrush, and then I have this set of paints. Um, they're the same brand that we use at school, Prang, I think is the better brand or the best brand to buy. Um, also, other brands make watercolor paint. This is just what I'm used to. I don't recommend blending in the paint tray in the little dots. I blend. I recommend blending onto the paper. I also like to make sure that my paper is wet because then sometimes the paint <clears throat> will move around a little more freely, a little easier. So all I did was dip into some blue. Um, you can see that it's moving because that paper is wet and I can go ahead and add that blue paint there. Now, if I wanna stay with the traditional blue, I can always um, move over into another section and maybe put a little bit of blue down and then I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of green to it and create a turquoise color. As you saw in the lesson plan, we're trying to work with some harmonious colors. We're trying to keep things relating to each other on the color wheel. So I'm choosing some of the cool colors and I will complete my whole landscape um, using basically the cool colors. You might notice that I will actually uh, blend a little bit of yellow, which I know is a warm color, but I might blend some of the yellow in with the green to create a different shade or a different tone of the green. So go ahead and work to finish. If you're an artist that's working with crayon, of course you would have done all of those lines with pencil. You might be going over your lines with um, a black crayon and then you'll be filling in. And those of you who might be working with marker, you might use the black uh, marker last on your project because remember black is smears as it goes into so if you're using a marker um, base for the project you would color all the areas or the sections and then go back over the black lines or the pencil lines with the black marker to make them more solid and stand out remember the technique i've showed you about um, using marker and then a wet brush or even a wet finger, and you could blend the colors. If you're using markers, you could always make them look a little more watercolor-like by using that technique. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, finish my painting on my own. I hope you have fun with this project. I can't wait to see your success. Don't forget to upload it in the Google Classroom so that I can see your hard work. Um, have a great week.